Nigerians praised for genius message to King Charles during Harry and Meghan's tour. The people of Nigeria have been praised by GB News host Nana Kua for their genius message to King Charles during Harry and Meghan's tour of the country. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex visited Nigeria to promote the Invictus Games and during the trip, they met injured servicemen, and took part in fundraising events. At a reception to honor military families, the British national anthem was played out and the pair stood up to pay their respects but did not appear to sing along. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Speaking about the moment on GBN America with Nana Akua, royal commentator Angela Levin said, they were both standing up. They didn't move, they didn't even blink and they didn't actually sing a word. They obviously had to do it because the people wanted to do that out of respect for the king and the family. They couldn't say no because that would have created a lot of publicity. So they're quiet but they obviously hated it. I thought Harry would explode with anger and bitterness, to be honest. GVNA host Nana Kaku said, I don't think that they were told that that was going to happen. I think the Nigerians are very clever. Of course they are. They're not stupid. They've seen what's been going on and they've watched the way Meghan has treated her own family, and the royal family, and Harry as well. She's been complicit all in all of this. And that doesn't look good. It doesn't matter what side you're on or what you think, it's not a good look. Levin said, I don't think that they wanted to trip them up and do that. I think that they just put it in and thought it would be fine. Nana defended her point and added, I'm sorry, but I think they put that in as a stroke of genius because it's a message to the king to say we've we're allowing them to be here, but that doesn't mean that we agree in their behavior. She added, I don't think they knew, just the way they stood up. They looked like they were wrong-footed. Nigeria's chief of defense staff invited the couple to the country, marking their first overseas tour since stepping down as senior royals in 2020. Harry and Meghan have hinted that their trip to Nigeria was not an isolated event, suggesting more such tours are being planned. The Duke of Sussex told people, it is hugely important for us to meet directly with people, supporting our causes and listening, in order to bring about solutions, support and positive change. There's only so much one can do from home and over Zoom, so we look forward to traveling more because the work matters. Whether it's the Archul Foundation, Invictus or any of our other causes, there will always be reasons to meet the people at the heart of our work. Prince Harry could dissipate his fortune with repeated legal challenges, according to royal commentator Michael Cole. The warning came after the Duke of Sussex was told he cannot expand his legal claims against the Sun's publisher to include allegations about his wife Meghan Markle by the High Court. Harry alleges he was unlawfully targeted by journalists and private investigators working for news group newspapers, NGN, publications The Sun and The News of the World, which closed in 2011. Speaking on GB News, Cole said the Duke's activity in court could have severe financial consequences. It's an extremely expensive process, he said. Particularly when you're paying your own costs, as Prince Harry is now. The Prince of Litigation has been back in the lists today, he's got several cases going. It's hard to keep up sometimes but he's taking on the red top tabloids and the middle market tabloids and he wants to win the day. Whether he is wise to do that I'm not sure. You can burn through a lot of money very, very quickly. Reports say that he and his wife are worth $500 million. Whether that's true or not, it seems a very high figure to me. You can very, very quickly dissipate your fortune by investing too much in the law. The Duke is not the only one suing NGN, with more than 40 others taking on the group. The cases against NGN are due to go to trial, lasting up to eight weeks, beginning in January. The younger son of King Charles was refused permission on Tuesday by Judge Timothy Fancourt to extend the time frame of his claim. 
The judge also rejected an application form Harry and the claimants to include allegations Murdoch, 93 gave knowingly false evidence about his knowledge of phone hacking and other unlawful acts.